As a company, we have an absolute commitment to the principle of action on climate change. We're very proud of our values. But as one of the major contributors to CO2 emissions, and as we begin to contend with the real-world effects of climate change, we have to prepare ourselves for the next step in addressing our corporate responsibilities in this area. While the steps on the surface seem to be in opposition to our self-interest, the reality is, however, that they are actually in opposition to our self-interest. So we recognise what we call the gap. The gap is the problem of simultaneously holding two contradictory positions. On one hand, to act on our responsibility to humanity, but on the other hand, to deliver on our commitment to superior value for our shareholders. We needed to take a leap of faith. An intuitive step outside of the limitations of science-based argument. I am proud to announce the company's new policy of fuck you. Fuck you is more than a policy. It's a philosophy where we are able to straddle the dichotomy between what we know is true and how we can benefit by ignoring that truth. Fuck you means we can be passionate about our values, but not act on them. Fuck you takes what would be our present day financial burden away from us and transforms it into a chronic, economic, social, cultural and political crisis for future generations. The genius of this, however, is that we transferred it away from us. It ensures solid returns to our shareholders by killing their grandchildren. With this policy, we delay action and leverage the gap and are able to maintain our role as a global leader in destroying the planet. Ultimately, this is a reflection of the values of our shareholders. Everyday Australians have chosen to invest $20 billion into the company, but we prefer to think of it as 20 billion fuck yous to the Australians of tomorrow. There will come a day when my moral choices will no longer be beholden to the shareholders, and a wave of profound regret and a sorrow will engulf me as I uh, realise with painful clarity the enormity of the damage I have perpetrated upon humanity. And even if I plead with whoever has succeeded my role in the company to stop putting CO2 in the air for the sake of my daughter's grandchildren, he or she can turn to me and simply respond with, fuck you. And that legacy really does make me very proud.